yo, 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 you rockin' with my boy, Mr. Reed, and the Bubble Podcast. Stay tuned, this your King 1D. I wish you would leave me alone You can call all you want, I won't answer my phone You pull up outside, I don't care cause I'm gone I'm in my own world, yes I'm in my zone I won't talk to you man, I appreciate that You know I fuck with you the long way man <laughs> I know how you do that While you do that, I'm gonna uh, introduce you again This is my man 1-3 And uh, he, he coming out of Oakland guys Right now he say he's in Vegas I guess he's doing some business or something like that, but he is an Oakland, Oakland rapper, and he's trying to come up. And uh, Man, I appreciate you for showing up to the show. You all situated now? Yep, yep, I'm good. I'm on. All right. I, I appreciate you for, for being on the show, man. How you doing? Always. I'm good, man. I'm good. Trying to make it happen. Yeah, we're making it happen. We're making it happen. So first off, I appreciate you for submitting your music, trusting me with your music. This man has sent me music damn near a year ago and uh, keeps sending me music. So I appreciate you for that. Salute to you for that, man. I appreciate you. So you so let's dive in. First. Say that again? You putting on for us, man. You putting on for us. We need that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's my whole goal of trying to put the whole bay on the buzz, man. You know, but um, let's get into your music. Let's see let's see what uh, people need to hear about your music. So the, the songs that you sent to me, they all have a different style of delivery right yeah what 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 was going through your mind when you was making these songs well mo most of the songs is based on my life so you feel me i'll be going through it at the moment and there go the song so when you be going through it like like jesus break down jesus oh yeah J jesus came from you feel me like it's all, a lot of comparisons i'm the type of person to take care of a lot of people for various reasons, you feel me? And you know, you don't uh -huh. get the credit. People hate and all that good shit, but you got to keep going, you feel me? Can't nobody change me from being great. This is true. And I see the comparison in that song. The comparison in that song leads you like to be like, Jesus, you make a lot of uh, comparisons to hanging on a cross for years and all, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you really feel like you're like, do you really feel like you're a messenger? And if so, what kind of message are you trying to bring across in, your, in that song? Well, in that song, I'm really, I'm really just showing everybody, feel me, like treat people, treat people the way they should be treated, cause you don't know how they feel, no matter what they look like on the outside. So I'm always smiling, always lit, but a nigga be going through shit. <laughs> now, now when you say going through shit, like let let don't elaborate too much, but let let people know a little bit of what you're going through, facing day to day life, man. Oh shit. Shit, man, I, I got the craziest life you will ever see in the world. I'm trying to get a reality show right now. Oh, what's the name of it? Like, I got all kinds of shit. It's going to be Love Hurts. Everything is Love Hurts. I'm dropping three albums on one day. Okay. Okay, we're going we to get into that. We're going to get into that. Okay, so let me ask this last part of this question. Now, when you're making your songs, right, are you making mm -hmm. them, do, do you ever have in your head, like, this one going to be the crowd pleaser. This is going to be the big hit. Or do you be thinking in your head, like, I don't know if they're going to be feeling me, man. Because your lyrics, your lyrics are different. Some people got to listen to what you're saying and really feel what you're saying. So I know that me being an artist, some of my songs, I'm like, damn, I don't know if people are going to feel this, man. But I still kind of put it together. Do you feel that way? Do you have times that you feel like that? Never. I, got, I think I'm the best ever. So you feel me? I got full confidence every time I drop. Like, I won't even record nothing if it ain't on fire. And my style is so aggressive, you feel me? So it's gonna come off that way regardless when I'm on. So when you when you going in there to to record, you already got that passion right there burning inside you. Then yeah, cause I don't I, I don't like to write the song and save it. Like if I write it, I gotta go record it that day or the day after. Okay. Okay. So speaking of recording, break down your recording process from pen to uh, audio file to sending me an audio file to play. All right, I get it. I got grab me a beat. Well, first I go through the beats and see what type of feel. Like the beat got to call me. I don't just pick a subject and write on it. Mm -hmm. The beat tell me so. And then I sit down and write that shit. It'll take me about 15 minutes. And then I go to the studio. I like to write like three before I go. Because I don't like 
to waste time. I'm recording hella, hella fast. Right. Like, hella fast. It'll take me, like, seven minutes to do a song. Because you already got in your mind what you want done on what verse and ad libs and all of that stuff, right? Yeah, and I got a system that I do. You feel me? My shit is three tracks all the way. I do a main, so, I do an accent, and then I do ad libs. Yeah, so so this this is what I need you to do, because the platform is here to to motivate people that's trying to do stuff that we're doing, right? So yeah. break it down, like, you know, like, where do you get your beats from? Uh, do you get them from a certain app? Do you get them from, like, a certain person? Where do you get your beats from? Where do you go to the studios at? You know what I mean? How much studio time? People need to hear stuff like this so they can so they can pursue it a little bit better. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking these questions. Well, online, you should, it's beats online everywhere. I got a couple producers that I work with, yeah. but I also go online and I buy beats, too. Because it's all okay. about the passion and what I feel. If I hear a beat and I need it, I need it. So I'm going to buy it. And then I go, I go to, uh, I usually go to R Block Studios if I'm not in Vegas. R Block, they on 84th and East Oakland, Con B, and then they run it. Okay. They shit okay, wrong, too. Really they shit wrong. But I mostly record in Vegas, though. Are you, do you, uh, are you recording under your, are you recording under your own label or? Yeah. Or are you trying to get signed? I am trying to get signed, though. Okay. That was going to be like got, a mix. It got to be major. It got to be major, yeah. though. <laughs> it got to be a major label? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't need nothing but fame. Okay. The money ain't the big deal. You feel me? I can sell anything once I'm famous. I sell sunglasses on the corner. <laughs> I hear you. That's that town mentality, huh? Oh, yeah, man. I got a plan, so... Put us together. Once they, I just got to get them to hear me. That's the hardest part is getting your music out to everywhere. So what are you doing? What are you doing to get them to hear your music? I'm outside every day. Every day I'm outside somewhere. They see my face. So I make sure that I'm everywhere and I make sure I'm noticed. Like everywhere I go when I leave, they gonna be talking about me. So are you are you sending out like demos to you know? Doing the old school way of demos out to the record labels? Are you trying to contact A and R's? What, what is it exactly that you're trying to do to get signed? Not yet. Not yet. Right now, I'm focusing on the project because I'm probably going to just drop this. This is probably going to be my last unless they beg for it. Okay. It's a lot of work, and I do other shit. You feel me? Like, I got web series, movies, I got all kind of shit going on. Well, see, I'm glad you're speaking on that because I was going to speak on... I see that you got, what, a clothing line that you're yeah. trying to start up? I got Dripping Wet Apparel. I had that for nine years. Oh, uh, speak on but that now a little I'm bit. doing the Love yeah. Hurts. Speak, speak yeah, on Dripping that, that a little apparel. bit. Yeah. I started that about nine, ten years ago. I do graphic design, so... But what I did was I bought my own equipment myself, and I did it myself. And are you trying like to push that? You trying to press up everything I myself? Hard? I I did, I did, but I didn't have no funds or no team. Okay. The hardest part is being by yourself. You gotta do everything. Yeah. So without the funding, you feel me? It didn't fall through, but I lost a little, little bit of passion, and then everybody else start coming, so it got flooded. Yeah. See, that's, that's the emotion I need people to see on this platform because it's real, man. People get frustrated. People get tired. Yeah. I mean, it's like you get discouraged, and it's like real life kick in, and it's like, okay, I got to do it. I got to pay these bills first. I got to do this. So yeah. you start doing other stuff. But that's that's why I bring people like this man on here to speak, to speak to everybody. Um, I appreciate that, man. So talk on the web series, bro. So, but it don't. Don't stop the music. You feel me? Nothing can stop the music. The music comes first always. That's my right. therapy. Right. So speak on the web series though. Web series ball out MDM. It's crazy because it's like it ain't no script. Like I, I picked the characters out and I it's so hard to get everybody to get together at a certain time. So <laughs> the story changes by who comes to that day to film. Yeah. I tell them what to do, like so and so stole this from you, go. And they get to be themselves. So right. Come out good. It looked like it's scripted, but it ain't. How many uh, uh, shows you got out there? Are you just now starting it up? I got two seasons already. They only five episodes each. I'm waiting to drop the finale. I need some more buzz first. Okay. 
Well, let's start a little bit. Of, start a little bit of buzz right here. Tell them the name again yeah. and where they can find it at. Ball out MDM web series. It's on YouTube. We okay. got Instagram and everything. Ball out MDM web series Instagram. All that you might see some people you know on there. Yeah. It's all filmed in Oakland and Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm going to be all up in that thing, trying to see what's going on. I'm always up in it, man. Like you said, we mess with each other tough, guys. He sent me his music before I was even doing his podcast thing. He sent me the music when I was trying to do the radio show. Right. And he was real tough with me, standing in contact with me, real business, man. And I was loving it. And then he started sending more music, and I was loving that, too, even when I was going through my transition. So that's why I got this man on here. Another reason why I got this man on here, because I appreciate his support of the Bubble Podcast. And I just wanted to ask you, man, like, why did you put so much trust in me with your music, man? First thing is communication, you feel me? Like, when you, when you have an easy conversation with somebody, you feel me? The trust is already there. All you can do is lose trust. Like, you give trust first. All you can do is fuck it up. So it's Absolutely. Like you doing the same thing I'm doing though, and you provide, you trying to provide, and you try asking me to give me my music so you can let other people hear. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Absolutely. See, that's the logical way of thinking, man. And I love you for saying that, man, because it's real. That is the real yeah. bottom line of it. Yeah. It's, it's basically, I'm trying to help you out. You coming on here is helping me out. You know what I mean? Bringing your fans over to the platform. It's going back and forth, brother. So I love it. I love the networking. Why don't you break down some of these projects you got going on? I mean, tell me, you got, you said you got one coming up? Yeah, no, the album, I got three albums. I'm dropping three albums yeah, on one day. Yeah, three on one day. Okay, yeah, yeah. So break them down. Break break down the albums. What's what's the name of them? It's going to be Love, Love Hurts, Love Hurts More, and I don't know the last one yet. I got the okay. artwork done, though, but... I'm still working on the last name because I ain't put the songs in order yet. How many tracks gonna be on each each album? Thirteen. You gonna bust them down like in a series? Cause it sounds like a series. Kinda, cause I got Mask Up Part One and Part Two, but it's all story. Like all most of it's part of my life, except for Mask Up. That's made up. But everything else is real, so it's gonna go in that order of how it happened. Okay. All right, I got a couple more questions for you, man. All right, one question I had a couple people ask me when I had showed your picture and stuff on uh, my weekly schedule. They were like, why why are Brett dressed up like a clown? He be, he be sounding all crazy, crazy. I was like, no, he don't sound crazy, but his lyrics, it make you think. You know what I mean? So why don't you just break down what the whole symbolism was? of the Because that's why I picked that picture, too, because it, it sparks conversation. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I picked that picture. So why don't you tell people... Why you did that clown post? Simple. It was Halloween. <laughs> That's all it was. It was Halloween. I went to my son's birthday party. <laughs> That's what I was kind of telling the people. I was like, it's nothing behind it, man. This man is from the town. His lyrics, you can hear it in his music. It's it nothing is. all like but it, it goes, ain't nothing all like that. Harley, it goes with the Harley Quinn video, though. I got a song called Harley Quinn. It's on YouTube. Okay. And it's about so that, the Joker that, and Harley Quinn. So that goes with the video. So it all was like coincidental. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they see that and then they hear Harley Quinn, Love Hurts the Album. It's just keep pushing the album in any way. There you go. That was going to be my, uh, my, my one of my last questions. Like, what are you doing to really market yourself? Let people know, like, stuff that they can do. Like, somebody that's in your position right now trying to do hella shit, uh, yeah. what can they do? And what are you doing that they can do? First thing and the best thing you could do is to be yourself. That's the only way people are going to really like you for you. That's the only way it's going to be real. That's why I just be me. I don't care what nobody thinks. That shit ain't going to change nothing. Right. Like, I'm still going to be the best. You feel me? No matter what. So I stay aggressive and stay in their face. Like, you can't sit in the house, period. Because if right. don't nobody know you, don't nobody know you got nothing specific. Right. Absolutely. You got to pay for them ads, too. You're going to have to pay somebody. That was the main thing I was looking for, man. You're going to have to pay somebody. You're going to have to break bread. You have to. Yeah. You have to pay. You're going to have to pay a lot of people. It don't work like that, no matter how good you are. Yeah. Everybody got a cousin that rap, too, so why the fuck they going to put you on? 
break bread. Break another bread. Man. All right. Um, man, in your day, I want you to get this little message out. I, I like to ask all the artists before we end the little show of like some type of little message that they have, right? So in your day-to-day -day life, facing what we face, you know what I mean? You look like yeah. me, so I know you, you got some of the same problems that I have. Uh, yeah. What what makes you still pursue your music, man? Because th this thing in itself is hard. Doing music is hard in itself. So what makes yeah. you kind of just like get up and be like, man, I got to do this music, facing what we face on a day-to-day? For one, I really can't live without it because it's part of my therapy. I don't talk a lot to people about my personal shit. For two, I ain't heard nobody better than me yet, so why would I stop? I'm not going to give y'all this. Right. I see you, Lima. Yeah, how how, how, how I'm going to start the world of this greatness? That don't even make no sense. I'm going to keep banging it over their head until they get it. They get it. So you stay motivated through self, through self thought. Like, yeah. okay, I'm I'm near, man. Self elevation, man. It ain't nothing gonna stop me. Dead Period. or alive, they gonna hear it one, one 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 way or another. They gonna hear it dead or alive, and I'm gonna be fine with that. As long as you make it, as long as you get it done. Yeah, cause I already did everything. No, I had a license deal for over 15 years. I get played on MTV, BT, all kind of shit. Like That's I've been doing up. music for hell long. That's what's up. How long you been doing it? Hi, over 20 years. All my right. My uncle a producer. My uncle a producer, so he produced a lot of shit. He was acting like he was going to put me on back in the day, so I presumed it myself. All right. All right. Well, this is a section I, I, I give everybody a chance to go ahead and give all your shout-outs and your plugs, man. Sh Shout-out everything that you got going on as far as projects and uh, people that's helped you out or whatever and uh, – Give all your plugs out, your clothing line, and all of that stuff, and website. Go ahead and do all of that right here, brother. Man, follow me at One Three the Goat, man. Ball out MDM the web series. Follow officially Lima too. That's my girl. She go crazy. Um, shit. Love hurts, man. The album, the clothing line, the reality show coming soon, man. Shout out my nigga Con Con just went viral for that Glorilla shit. Other than that, man, shout out to one three, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shout out to you, brother. And that, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to end this off in appreciation. Thank you very much for trusting me with your music. I wanted to tell you that somewhat face to face. Thank you. Uh, I, I got this, brother. Don't worry about it. Uh, keep sending it. I'm going to keep playing it. And uh, we're going to keep we're going to keep pushing this thing. So I appreciate you for doing what. Yeah, we I gotta set up something when I drop. Huh? You gotta set up something when I drop. It's it's good. I mean, we're gonna talk a little bit more. We're gonna talk a little bit more when it's not choppy. Yeah. It's cho it's choppy yeah. right now. And but, Lima, uh, Lima, send him your shit, Lima. Send him your shit. Yeah, you said official Lima. I'm I'm looking at it right here. I'm I'm, I'm gonna check her out after this. After I, after I post this video, but. Uh, Again, welcome I, appreciate, home, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere yet. I'm gonna clip it off of, on uh, on my end. But guys, thank y'all for tuning in to another live. Hopefully, this was inspiring to a lot of people to see that there's real people out here that's doing this thing. There's real people that's connecting without even needing money involved. We're connecting. And we're doing this thing, and we're and we're making a movement. So you guys come be a part of this movement, and I love you guys. Streetwise Intellect Productions presents the Bubble Podcast. I'm Mister Read the Realist, and this has been One Three. You can find him on Instagram at One Three the Goat. And on behalf of him, and behalf of me, I love you guys. I'm out. I'll holler at you, brother. All right.